the Cloud Exchange is uh, Global Cloud Exchange's first uh, new infrastructure investment that we're, we're actually building between the west coast of the United States and, uh, and Tokyo. This will actually be what we call the next digital highway connecting Silicon Valley into, we think, the next Silicon Valley, which will be in, in Japan, India, and parts of Southeast Asia. So we're very excited about our, our new uh, cable that we're building out uh, in, the, in the next uh, uh, 18 months. This one's going to be much more flexible in the, in the sense that it'll allow uh, people to come in at sub 10G wave levels. So they'll actually be able to come into our, uh, into our landing stations and, and essentially buy everything from internet transit to ethernet to large bandwidth services that go up to 100 gig and then as high as, as 1000 gig. So very, very exciting and very scalable architecture that we're bringing into this cable. The digital highways today are really three uh, that I see. There's across the Atlantic, so it's between Europe and the United States, between the United States and Asia, and then there's between Asia and, and uh, the United States. This route today is growing at, at faster than any of the other routes around the world. It's growing at roughly 34% per year, and it's accelerating. And this is really coming off the back of cloud computing, moving into the, into the region and really what that's driving in terms of demand across the, across the Pacific. So huge uh, influx of, of, of demand over the last uh, two to three years, and we see this as an opportunity to, to, to participate in that demand. Pacific Cloud Exchange is actually going to be uh, a way for us to interconnect our FNL system, which was one of lar Asia's largest cable infrastructures, to our former Yipes infrastructure in the United States. So connecting our fiber in on the west coast of the United States, east coast of the United States, uh, seamlessly through to our, our architecture in, in Asia and then onward to India. So where we're the largest fiber provider in, in the Indian subcontinent. So we're, we're very, very excited about interconnecting what were a series of disparate systems with our own fiber and controlling essentially end-to-end uh, -end fiber in the ground and under the water all the way through from Silicon Valley to India. We'll announce our vendors uh, sort of early to mid-summer this summer and we'll actually at that time uh, all of our partners will be announced as well. So uh, uh, right now we actually have four partners in the, in the system and, and we anticipate that that may grow to six uh, potentially before uh, we close the system in, in uh, July of this year. Asia Pacific today has roughly one-third of the non-internet users. So if you think about the internet population and you think about bringing the next seven billion people onto the internet, there's roughly two and a half billion citizens that actually do not have internet access today in, in Asia. Our strategy is to bring cloud computing, low cost bandwidth, um, and ubiquitous coverage to as many people in, in this part of the world so that they can actually be on the internet and continue to flourish and grow and, and actually become part of the digital age with, with the rest of us uh, on the, in the West and, and, and many of the parts of the developed world. So we're very excited that this cable uh, will play its part in, the, in that growth and that future.